phenomenal, legendary, and blessed morning, noon, night, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to a Mississippi Movement. I am Dracia. And this is another just talking moment. Um, you know, today is the 30th of April. And as I've discussed before, I am attempting to get back into a solid workout regimen and um, it's been a struggle it's been a struggle because right now I'm adapted to the way that I've been living um, and there's been portions of my life where I was super disciplined and then there were portions like now in my life where my discipline lacks. And I don't know if you ever heard of the statement, how you do one thing or how you do anything is how you do everything. I've heard it as how you do one thing is how you do everything. But lately I've been hearing it come back to surface and I'm hearing that it's how you do anything is how you do everything. Either way, I believe to some degree that it is true. If you think about, um, if you created a discipline of, let's say, you read the Bible every morning. You get up, you do that. And you might have a ritual that you do every morning, maybe. You make your coffee first, sit down at the table and read your Bible. It's a habit, but it's, it's also a part of your regimen, like your, your daily routine. Um, but right now I'm struggling, I would say kind of on all aspects, which is why I say maybe it is true when it said how you do anything is how you do everything. And so I am now working to get back to all my little disciplines that help me to be, um, a little healthier, a little, um, a little more um, fit because I don't think I've ever been like super fit I'm not one of those like workout gurus or anything like that um, but I do enjoy exercising it's just getting back into the habit because once I have the habit down it's like I don't want to miss it versus I'm okay with missing it and right now I'm eating tons of snacks. Um, and there was a point in time when I really wasn't a snacky kind of person. Like, I would have a snack, but I was more interested in food than I was, like, sugary snacks. And then there was a shift. I will say, though, yes, you have the choice, right? And you have to get disciplined in your choices. Additionally, um, if who you hang around, um, who you spend your most time with, if they themselves are not like regimented like that, you can be at risk of um, starting the same habits, basically. So, um, in my household, not everybody eats the same. Well, let me change that up. We all eat the same, right? Some heavier on things than others. Um, however, I'm probably the only one that looks to eat healthy on a regular basis and would attempt to do it. Whereas, you know, there are people that they do want to be healthy, but they don't necessarily make all the attempts to do it. So, um, so it's one of those things where I feel like if, and this could, I, I'm not saying this is fact. I'm just saying this is how I feel. If I don't buy the healthy things, if I don't cook the healthy things, those things won't be done. Now, it could be, too, that maybe 
in terms of taste when it comes to the healthy things maybe I'm better at it than someone else um, just like I don't cook um, Caribbean food even though I have a Caribbean background uh, my best friend has um, started cooking Caribbean food and it's it literally tastes like you know grandma's cooking like grandma's Caribbean food and so that's become her thing um, I am pretty decent at making American dishes as well as you know healthier choices and so if I'm not disciplined baby basically then other people don't have the opportunity or maybe don't take up the opportunity to do it right they might you know eat a yogurt here and there you know they might do you know eat a salad or whatever but if we aren't doing those things on a regular basis we don't see the results that we want to see within the time frame that we might have set for ourselves so it's going to take even more work for you and i'm speaking to myself as well to make that decision to say i am going to do this regardless of what everyone else is doing um it's just like think about when you were in high school and maybe everyone was partying and living it up drinking and stuff like that or even as an adult but you're shifting and changing your life you have to actively make the decision that you're not going to engage in those things or you're going to shift in those things maybe you um maybe you don't participate or when you go you make the decision that you know you're gonna drink club soda or water um or maybe wine is better for you better rather than um harder alcoholic drinks either way you have to make some decisions and so this is where i am in my life it's like um covid hit i lacked in my disciplines instead of staying strong in my dif disciplines and now um you know i've put on the extra pounds or you know my i noticed that my eating habits is not what they once were and so now i want to do different when you want to do something different it's hard when you want to do something different it's going to take a lot more work to shift out of what you are normally um what you normally do it's literally a hardcore shift in habits now probably the best way to do this is not to do everything at once because when you're doing everything at once then you feel like um everything's changed so fast so quickly before you can get adjusted to it so you might want to do things in parts i should be doing it that way <laughs> i am not um i am doing my best to make healthier decisions and create a workout regimen that works for me that will produce the results that I want and um, it's tough so I have not I'm saying all of this because I have not come out every day or five days a week in order to get my exercise regimen done um, so um, this is me attempting to do it more than once a week. Uh, like really, I mean, if I get three days in, yeah, that's great. Why am I pushing myself harder than three days? Um, yeah, cause I, I kind of, I, I won't say I want fast results, but I want, I want the routine to be down. I want the I want the desire, right, to be out here getting a workout on or, you know, doing an in-home workout. Like, I want that desire to be every day and that I take action on it every day. Um, 
so some type of movement of some sort like it doesn't have to be heavy like i'm not looking to work out an hour to two hours every day five days a week three to three times a week no but i want to create a regimen where i am moving and active at least at the very least three times a week but regularly not like um okay this week i'm on next week i'm off no i want it every day i mean not every day every week non-stop as long as i have you know the break so let's say i do um get the sorry for the lo loud noise i'm passing by the firehouse you know all the trucks are on um but I do want to get in this habit that there's not a week that passes by that I don't have at least three days out the week that I'm working out. Um, but I'm doing this, I'm like recording this one because of the journey, but two, because somebody else needs it. Somebody else is struggling just like me get their butt outside or to get their butt out of bed and just you know put a weight in their hand or a jump rope <laughs> or just going outside and using their legs or you know the other day I think I told you guys I'm not even sure um I had did burpees um it I feel like burpees works out the entire body and it gets my heart rate up pretty fast and because of the need for you to have proper form it's a workout and so I felt like if I do burpees at least two to three times a week what would that do to my body because it's a high intensity workout right and um yeah so because of that you know I did that and I felt really good and I actually felt my muscles the following day and I was questioning myself why was I feeling it and I forgot that I did the burpees so I'm saying all of this to say like it's okay it's okay if you didn't do it perfect today it's okay um, if you missed several days the point is get up keep going until not just the results but until it is a discipline until it is habit for you to get up get your body moving and get your body healthy well i'm at the track now and i don't necessarily like to record as i'm attempting to be focused on my workout so i'll see you guys in a bit